Hey everyone, Sam back once again, and in this video I'm going to be putting the HCC Desire S against the Samsung Galaxy S2 head to head in a cold boot, which basically, obviously I'm going to take both batteries out of the phones, so if any of the phones have got like a hibernation feature, that won't come into consideration with my test. I'm also going to be doing a benchmarking on Quadrant Standard and also Linpack. I know there are a couple of other ones, but the one that I, um, I normally use will be Quadrant anywhere. And Limp Park again, it just it gives you a rough indication as to what the phone maybe actually you know could be able to do in the future. So as I say the battery is out of the desire. So we'll put that back on there. And the battery out of the Galaxy S2. So we'll just stick the back on both of these. I found myself doing this about four times this video now or starting it for the fact that when I try and put this on here I keep turning the bloody phone on up the top so I'll try my best not to do it this time if you're watching this video then I did it yeah I did it so what we'll do is we'll power both devices on so you see it's from a cold boot is this And there we go. Now, I will make you aware that I have rooted the Galaxy S2. It is using um, the Paul from the car. I always get it a bit, um, a bit, I can't really say it properly. Um, but thanks to him for, oops, for getting a, a, an actual kernel out of there so you can root the phone. Now, there's no modifications like any speed modifications, etc. So, in terms of overall performance, this is what you're going to be getting out of the box performance. So, as you can see, oh, that's just loaded as well. The Galaxy S2 um, won the, the cold boot, fully up operational. Sometimes sense can take a little longer, as an example. Obviously, I've not got that many widgets on there. Oops. So you saw that it was a bit, a bit laggy. But once it's fully booted, you'll be very happy with the experience. But from a cold boot standpoint, I think it's pretty clear that the Galaxy S2 is the winner in this case. Still try to load the widgets. So we'll go into the application draw for both. And we will go to Quadrant. So we'll run the full benchmark for both of these fonts. So run. Now while this is going through the actual test there, um, I just want to say thanks to anyone that's actually subscribed and all those people that watched the video so far. Um, apparently people like my accent um, and obviously they're loving the Galaxy S2 as well. As I say, I will be doing other videos. Um, I'm going to be looking to do some possible app reviews, um, both on Android and iOS. The iOS ones are mainly going to be on the iPad 2, well iPads, basically iPad applications. Um, I may do some on my iPod Touch but it's uh, third generation so it's got, it's got the rubbish screen. So as you can see, these are both going through there now. Now, when it, when it comes to the overall performance here, um, you know, I've done this a couple of times now. The Galaxy S2 is obviously going to be the winner, um, just due to the actual CPU, RAM, etc. It's got built in there. But let's just see by, by how much. You see the Galaxy S2 is finished, and the Desire S is actually just caught up with it. So we'll say yes to that. And the standard on the S is 1074. Get it to hopefully you can read that, which is not bad for an out of the box performance. But the S Galaxy S2 in the run is exactly 3000. Now, I've done, as I say, I've done this test quite a few different times, um, and they normally get over 3000 or 3000 plus. And that's about average for the Desire S. So, in terms of quadrant standards, we're talking about three times the performance. Um, it's not like a, a real test in terms of everyday usage. Obviously, you know, we all use the phones for different things. But it's the only real thing we can use for a benchmark at the moment. So, we'll go out of both of these. And um, next we're going to do Idle Impact. Now, I'm going to run this three times. The reason I'm going to do this three times is basically because it doesn't take long to do it, so I'll do three, and obviously you can choose which one's the, the best out of them. So we'll run the benchmark. 
Right, so first off the bat, we're getting 47.337 uh, time of 1.77 seconds. The Desire S, it's no slouch, it's got 40.894 at 2.05 seconds. So there is a difference. The difference is not as big as, you know, you'd normally, well, you'd probably expect like Quadrant, but it's got, you know, about 7 megaflops more. So we'll do a second one now. And in our second test, we're getting once again 47. It's 47.283, again at 1.77 seconds. The Desire S has bumped up a slight bit. It's at about 41.5 at 2.02. .02. And I say we'll do a third one. And in the third one, where um, the Galaxy S has actually gone down slightly, it's at 46, and the Desire S has um, maintained its previous one at 41.5. So, again, the Galaxy S2 is the winner in this case. It's not as big as a margin as the as Quadrant was, but it still does win. So, in the three tests we did there, we did one, the coming from a cold boot, Galaxy S2 wins. Two, the quadrant standard. Once again, Galaxy S2 has won that one. And finally, we did the limb pack, which in all three cases, not by a massive margin, you know, not as much as you'd probably expect. But yeah, the Galaxy S2 did come out the, the winner for that as well. So that's just been another video just to, you know, um, put out there for you guys. If you've got any, like, specific videos, and if I get quite a few requests for the same thing, um, I'll see if I can possibly do it. Um, if you hit me up on Twitter for those, um, at Sam J Pullen. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to follow me on there. If you like the video, give it a, a thumbs up, a like. Um, and if you don't mind, you can subscribe to your channel. It doesn't cost anything. It is free. Um, so hit the subscribe button just uh, up there. <laughs> so once again, thanks for watching. And keep watching. I'm going to do some more comparisons taking the Galaxy S2 against the iPad 2. Um, so keep tuned in. Cheers.